for anyone who's stumbled upon this video without knowing my life story, I am, um, a number of years ago, uh, quite, quite a number of years ago, I uh, made most of a pretty ambitious short film. Uh, it was a horror movie, and uh, it was called Lakeside, uh, a title I hated and well, me, I hated. Everyone else was like, oh, thank goodness. Uh, all the shitty titles you were using are out the window, and this boring title that means very little. Yay! So that's my, uh... Yeah, that was a lot of... I learned a lot of good things about collaboration, and I really, really appreciate it, but one of the things that was a frustration was things like that, that there are things like that in the world where people... For a large number of people, and I are simply on a completely different page, and that was uh, was one of them. And I say I hated it, and I'm more dramatic that comes across more dramatic than is the fact of my emotion. But I, I never shined to it. Everybody else did, um, and it fell apart for a number of reasons that I am. I always mean to try to tell that story, and I don't feel like enough of it is mine to tell. I know that it seems like it should be. Uh, I, I certainly, a good part of it is failings on my part, and other things are failings on my part that were a result of things that were not my story to tell. Uh, I have a lot of frustration and hurt and anger surrounding that, but I don't feel that the correct way of doing that would be to tell other people's, you know, uh, story uh, in public. So that's just a thing that happened. It still exists. I have most of it. There were a couple other things that we always meant to film that we didn't, but I think I could cut around it. Um, it's not in form at this point that I could just edit, but I always mean to. But, uh, it, the collapse of it was incredibly devastating. And the collapse of all the things in my life, which are the story that I'm not telling, um, were similarly devastating. It was a difficult time, and it was sort of the collapse of a lot of things. And, and all of them took longer than should have. Uh, I will say, it's a horror movie. I was really, really into horror at the time. You know, throughout most of the early aughts there. And then it came to be... Uh, in 2009, a number of things came to a chain conclusion. And I moved to Austin, Texas from Seattle. Uh, I lived there about seven years. Ended up getting married, having Conan, my daughter... And we, uh, it was very good, but I will admit that during that time, I really didn't go back to horror. I always meant to finish the movie, um, but I didn't even, you know, I lived in Austin. I went to lots of draft house things, but I never went to a Terror Tuesday. Not entirely by any sort of design. I know early on when I moved there, there was at least one that I was like, oh, I need to go to that, but I hadn't yet got myself in a position where I, I could afford it. <clears throat> or I couldn't schedule it. I don't remember exactly which, what, who that was. And um, then I know Ray, my spouse, and I intended to go to one to see Motel Hell, and that fell through for reasons that I now forget. Um, but uh, ultimately, I didn't go see any. I didn't really buy a lot of movies, and I don't think that I watched more than a very small handful of, of horror movies uh, in any form during that time. Uh, coming back to Seattle, I have a little bit, and what that says about the me that lives in Seattle or about my recovery. I like to imagine that it has a lot more to do with my recovery to some extent from that. And then I feel like I 
would or could or should go back and finish uh, the movie and probably should call it Lakeside because people who you know might be found of it would be more likely to find it um, if I did that but I don't know um, I still might need to separate from that um, and call it something else just for my own uh, sanity it, you know if I were to be able to figure it out there are a number of steps in between there uh, like I said it all exists or most of it exists and I could probably turn it into something but I don't know uh, I want to it feels like I also haven't created very much, which I've always been a slow creator, so that hasn't at any specific moment ever felt like a change, but it increasingly feels like I am punishing myself, or am I not able to conclude it because I still owe the world the thing I started, so... I don't know what that means. Uh, I need to... I think I need to sit down and finish that and make my peace with that. I've, I've returned to watching horror movies and I've bought a bunch of them and, you know, have a Shutter subscription that I watch. And so I probably need to just close the book on that somehow. I'm not sure what that'll entail, but uh, I think that that's what I need to do in order to get my brain to be willing to move forward. <laughs>